So you've read all your books, you've watched all your videos, you've talked to all your people, you've followed all the gurus, and you finally decided that you are ready to become a vending machine operator and get into the vending machine business. But one decision that you cannot make is whether or not you should start your own vending route or acquire an already existing route. It's one for all. Hey, what's up guys? It's Vince Dunlap here, bringing you guys another video. And uh, today we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons or some of the differences that comes between a vending route or starting your own route, okay? So first and foremost, what is a vending route? A vending route simply is a location in which you have a vending machine at making money. So whether you have a vending machine at one location or you have a vending machine at 10 locations or 100 locations, any acquired locations is considered a route. Now, when it comes to establishing your own route, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have to go out and you got to hustle for locations. As soon as you put a vending machine in there, boom, it's yours. When it comes to acquiring a route, what you have to do is get in contact with the individual uh, machine operators, okay? Now, there's a couple ways you can do that. Uh, we found that was on Craigslist. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace, or you can just go to the vending machine itself and uh, look at the phone number, the contact information that's on the machine and reach out to them directly. But people are always selling machines, they're always selling locations, they're always selling routes. So what are the pros and cons of buying your own route or starting a route from scratch? Let's discuss. So some of the pros of buying a route that's already established is, it's already established. So as soon as you take over, you're going to start making money right away because it's already an established route. It's really the fastest way to learn the business and to gain confidence because you're going to be learning everything on the fly and uh, you already got a customer base. You already see what sells and what's not going to sell. The prices are already set. All you have to do is put your personal touch on it, okay? And uh, like I said earlier, the money is guaranteed. You already have a cash flow. So depending on how much you bought the route for versus how much uh, money you're going to make each week and each month will dictate how quickly you get into the positive. Real quick, before taking over somebody else's route, be sure to ask them to produce their revenue sheets. Um, you want to go back at least one year because as the seasons and the times change, um, sometimes sales may increase or decrease. So if you can get about, if you can get the last year, uh, year and a half of uh, revenue sales, that's going to help you be able to justify whatever you pay to get that route. Now, what are some of the cons of buying an already existing route? Okay, so obviously there's going to be a large payment that you have to give up up front, okay? Because one thing I've learned about the vending machine business, people don't really like financing. Now, if you buy a machine from a vendor or from a warehouse, a lot of times they will allow you to do uh, financing, but when it comes to an individual owner trying to sell a location, a lot of times people won't like financing. Or they may allow you to finance it, but they will continue to still operate until after you've paid off everything, okay? Your purchase price will be significantly higher significantly, significantly higher. If I go and I find a random location to start my uh, business, all I really have to pay for is just a vending machine. But if you're taking over somebody else's already existing uh, business, you're gonna pay a lot more money. And for the most part, when you pay for these vending routes, you're paying for the annual income. Most people don't really include the uh, price of the machine or machines, but it's more so how much revenue. So. Um, for instance, if uh, one location is making $1,000 a month, you're typically going to get, you're going to have to pay about $12,000 bare minimum, bare minimum. Some people might throw in a couple thousand for the machines. However, if you're making a thousand dollars a month, one times 12 is 12, you're going to pay about $12,000. Okay. Also, it's going to take you a little bit longer to make that return on investment. So if you pay $12,000 for a vending machine or, or a route, bare minimum, you're looking at probably a year and a half before you even break even. Because even, even if you do make the $12,000, you're still gonna be in the net negative from all of the uh, products that you bought, uh, the maintenance, the gas, and everything like that. So you're so so expect to so expect to do this for about two years before you break even. Okay. Now, what are some pros of establishing a route on your own? 
Well, um, it's going to be lower funds out of pocket because like I said earlier, if you get a location, all you really have to do is go pay for the machine, go buy your products, and then you can go from there, okay? So the potential that you have in order to uh, get a quicker return on investment is, is a lot higher as well, okay? So whereas it would take you about two years, if you were to buy somebody else's route, it might take you two months to get in the net positive if you start your own route, okay? Also, you're going to be able to learn a lot better. If you start somebody else's route and it's just you, you're going to be expected to kind of know everything from jump. Otherwise, you're going to lose customers. You're going to have a lot of friction with your customer base, okay? But if you have only one location, you can actually learn the tricks of the trade on that one location. And as you expand, it won't be as intense for you because you would have already learned the business, all right? Now, some of the cons of establishing establishing your own routes, okay? It's going to take a lot longer for you to build your own business because you're going to have to call around, you're going to have to email, you're going to have to walk into people's uh, establishments to see if you can't put vending machines in those in those locations. And since we've gotten in the business, we actually haven't been able to expand as of this video. We've talked to a lot of people, we've gotten a lot of feedback, but we haven't been able to put a machine in a new location since We've started doing this and it's indicative of the oversaturated market that we have with vending machine operators in the area. Your monthly revenue will be another possible con when it comes to establishing your own routes. As I've said in previous videos, when you establish a new route, you don't know exactly what your customer base will like. So there's gonna be some products that you put in these machines that probably won't sell or they'll sell slow and um, they're gonna expire. You're gonna have to throw them away. You're gonna have to tinker. You're gonna have to play with products or whatnot. However, if you were to get an already existing route, there's already a history of what sells and what don't sell. So all you have to do is continue to do what the previous owner was doing beforehand. But with you getting a brand new location, there's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Also, want to give a shout out to this Instagram page because this is where I got all of the information from to do this video. So I just want to give him his flowers and say thanks for the information, okay? But um, that does it for this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time, all right? It's for all the